No, I'm Ashley Jenkins. And I'm Adam Ellis. It's safe to say there's been a lot of, well, you could call it hype around Horizon Zero Dawn for the PlayStation 4. And with reviews for the action RPG from Guerrilla Games starting to roll in, we can answer the question, is it good? So far, the answer appears to be a resounding yes. Not So it's not just like a yes, it's like a it's hell a fuck yes. yes it is. It's, I mean, it looks awesome. I had no doubts myself, personally. But the, <laughs> yeah, but that's not that's not the way you determine if things are good. You can want stuff to be good, but wanting is different from it being good. You're true. As of today, the game has an average score of 88 on Metacritic, with their reviewers praising the game's storyline and its combat, as well as its beautiful world visuals especially on a PS4 Pro and on a 4K-enabled television. I, I finally need to upgrade to a Pro game. Ugh, it's so annoying. Uh, with 77 reviewers weighing in on Metacritic, it's uh, pretty safe to say we have a consensus on the game at this point, and that is, it's good. But first, a little backstory on Horizon Zero Dawn before we dive into the reviews. History lesson time! <laughs> it's developer Guerrilla Games is best known for making the Killzone series, and Horizon marks the studio's first attempt at a new IP since 2004. It's also the studio's first attempt at a role-playing game. So, you would normally question all those things, but seems to like it went very, very well. Development of this game started in 2011 with a pitch session in which Horizon was considered the, quote, most risky idea of all those that were suggested, according to the game's director, Maddie Stajong. The game stars Aloy, who's an archer and hunter living among her fellow humans who've been reduced to a primitive state in a post-apocalyptic world. One major problem, though. Aloy and her fellow humans are living alongside giant killer robots, and it's that tension between a primitive natural environment and technology that forms the heart of the game. So they're bad neighbors. Yep. <laughs> Playing as Aloy, you use a variety of ranged and melee weapons to take out these robots, as well as looting components to craft useful resources. If you've ever wanted to kill a robot with a bow and arrow, this is the game you've been waiting for. If you've ever wanted to kill anything with a bow and arrow, which, let's be honest, if that's me in like every RPG. What do you want to be? Do you want to be like a, a war battle mage? Yes! And then some, somehow I end up with a bow and arrow anyway. All right, so let's dig into the reviews. Giant Bomb and Twinfinite both gave it perfect scores. Polygon gave it a 95, IGN gave it a 93, and GameSpot gave it a 90. Towards the middle of the pack, Game Informer gave it an 88, GameSpeed gave it an 87, and Destructoid scored it a 75. There's always gonna be an outlier. On the lower end, Survivor gave the game a 70, and US Gamer was thoroughly unimpressed giving it a 50, far and away the lowest score. So speaking of outliers, yeah. <laughs> uh, the general consensus of reviewers seems to be that the game is an impressive new IP from Guerrilla Games with a compelling story and satisfying combat. Tons of reviewers also have commented on the visuals, saying they're some of the best available. Mm. Uh, Digital Foundry even called it the best 4K release yet. Damn. So yes, a lot of praise for Horizon Zero Dawn. Let's take a look at the details of what the critics are saying. In this age of never-ending sequels, a lot of reviewers were happy about the launch of a brand new IP that has a lot of promise. And TechCrunch called it a near-perfect action RPG that effectively replicates what worked in games like Far Cry Primal, with a fresh story, beautiful visuals, strong character acting, and strong storytelling. Horizon Zero Dawn also has conversation trees and a main quest system that feels like a Bioware game at times, which is uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> TechCrunch writes, Guerrilla Games has nailed the creation of a brand new fictional world, which is no easy feat when it's a brand new property. And the game is as large and engrossing as is Horizon Zero Dawn. Now, other reviewers noted that the game manages to stay fresh, despite the fact that we've kind of hit a saturation point of open world games, which could lead to the genre becoming, well, a little bit stale. Destructoid said in its review, usually you can judge an open world based on how much it makes me want to keep chasing those shiny map icons. And Horizon Zero Dawn is in the unique position that it inspires me to just to screw around. On the way to an objective, I get lost on purpose trying to craft an upgrade or find rare material, only to look at my watch and see that three hours have passed. Now, maybe the biggest star of the game, though, is the setting, which I think we can all agree is really unique and awesome. I love the juxtaposition. Uh, lots of reviewers went nuts over the game's post-apocalyptic or post post-apocalyptic landscape that shows off everything from snowy vistas, autumnal forests, and vast deserts. IGN wrote, Frozen mountain peaks or the calcified remains of a skyscraper make for eerie, quiet jaunts made more unnerving by the lost world as Kara that sits in Horizon's underbelly. Now, the game's flexible combat system also got a lot of very high praise with the reviewers noting that there's no one way to approach a fight. You wanna go stealth mode? It's possible. You want to use your bow and arrow? Of course you do. You can do that. Want to reprogram a robot and have it do your dirty work for you? Checkmate. Oh my god. IGN says that Horizon's combat is the game's most compelling feature, with a variety of 26 different kinds 
kinds of robot machines roaming the open, and those machines all have several weak points that Aloy can hit with varying results. Now, IGN said of the combat, send a piercing arrow into the bulging cargo sack of a giant <laughs> fire spewing bellowback, for example. Low blow to hit some of the cargo sack. <laughs> And you'll set off a massive explosion. It's breathless stuff, and there are no hand-holding tutorials telling you how to best approach the beasts, which makes for more rewarding wins. Although, let's be honest, there will absolutely be hand-holding tutorials on YouTube within, like, a minute. <laughs> Not everyone was a big fan of Horizon, though. Unfortunately, US Gamer, in particular, put the game on blast, giving it a measly 50. The reviewer called the game disappointing and a familiar, boring grind. What's more, the game's story appears to hit a climax about 15 hours in, but then plateaus at that point and drags on for another 15 hours. And every main mission seems to end in an arena fight against a giant machine with a bunch of corridor battles in between. Not huge fans. Eh. US Gamer also wrote, Horizon Zero Dawn is disappointing. It has a story that I struggled to care about, a bland protagonist, and overtly repetitive and constraining missions that worked against its open world sensibility. When Horizon Zero Dawn hits its rare strides, it only made me wish the rest of the game were as worthwhile. But that position seemed a little bit like an outlier, especially compared to other reviewers who praise the storyline and the ending. So there you go. Giant Bomb wrote, by the end, Horizon comes to a satisfying conclusion in a way that left me feeling like they should probably never make a sequel. It's a near perfect story that creates a world and also provides meaningful answers about said world. Yeah, about that. It's gonna be a franchise, so definitely gonna be sequels. <laughs> uh, all in all, when you take the reviews in total, the consensus opinion seems to be that Horizon Zero Dawn's a well-executed new IP with engaging combat system, compelling storyline, and amazing visuals. If you care about the outliers, then that is important as well. Not everyone agrees, so you should know that going into it. But if you like what you've heard so far, the game is out February 28th in North America, March 1st in Europe and the UK on PS4. And we'll do a stream for it the day it comes out if you want to see it in yes. action before you make your choice. What do you guys think about these early reviews of Horizon Zero Dawn? Are you planning on getting the game? Yes. Let us know in the comments. And for future updates on reviews for the biggest releases, like this video. And if you're new around here, subscribe to the No. You know, I get the feeling that U.S. Gamer saying that it was a bland character clearly hasn't seen Grace's cosplay. Oh right? my god, yes. Jerks. I hate those guys. I'm just kidding. You're fine, U.S. Gamer. You're fine. <laughs> I, I mean, I like those guys. Jeremy Parrish and crew, they're good. Now, did, in you, the, did you not want me to say that? No, no, no. That was good. Okay. I just thought you were going to keep going. I, well, I was totally going to. I just I don't know if I <laughs>